Tivirta is the old town of the city of Osijek in Croatia. It is the best preserved and largest ensemble of Baroque buildings in Croatia and consists of a Habsburg star fort built on the right bank of the River Drava. Tivirta has been described by the World Monuments Fund as a unique example of an 18th century Baroque military, administrative, and commercial urban center. The star fort was constructed in the immediate vicinity of medieval Osijek after the defeat of the Ottoman forces in 1687, due to Osijek's strategic importance. Constructed starting in 1712 to plans by Matthias von Kaiserfeld and then Maximilian Gasso de Hennef, all five planned bastions and two gates were complete by 1715. By 1735, the inner town was finished and three northern bastions had been added. When complete, it was the largest and most advanced Habsburg fortress on the border with the Ottoman Empire, consisting of eight bastions and featuring armories, depots. A garrison headquarters, military court, construction office, a garrison physician, guardhouse, officers' apartments, a military hospital and seven barracks. The completed fort was entirely surrounded with walls and palisades and had four main gates at each side. Tivirta had street lights by 1717 and was the site of the first public water supply in Croatia, opened in 1751. Tivirta's military importance decreased after the Berlin Congress of 1878, with the increasing stability of the surrounding region. Most of the fort walls and fortifications were destroyed in the 1920s due to the obstacle they presented to the development of Osijek. While the fortifications have largely been removed, the fort's interior core remains intact and is now home to churches, museums, schools and other public buildings, as well as numerous bars and restaurants. Of the fortification system, only the northern side of the walls now remain intact, as well as parts of the first and eighth bastions along with the northern gate known as the Water Gate. Tivirta sustained significant damage during the Croatian War of Independence during the 1990s and was featured on the 1996 World Monuments Watch list of most endangered sites. It now features on Croatia's tentative list for consideration as a nominee for a World Heritage Site. Tivirta viewed from across the River Drava. The new name of Osijek first appeared in 1196. The center of medieval Osijek was on the banks of the River Drava where Tivirta now stands. The town was a trade and port settlement from the early 12th century due to its position on the way from Pech and Buda southwards. The site was home to the Romanesque Church of the Holy Trinity. Between 1526 and 1687 Osijek was ruled by the Ottomans, who did not change the layout of the settlement in any substantial way but introduced Islamic places of worship, giving the area an oriental appearance. Traces of medieval and Ottoman towns remain to this day, including a remnant of the old Ottoman fortress wall known today as the Turkish Wall or Philobase Fort, lying next to the Tivirta Access Road. During the Ottoman period, Osijek was internationally known because of the Suleiman Bridge. The construction of the bridge was begun by Ibrahim Pasha on August 16, 1526 following the orders of Suleiman the Magnificent. The bridge, which connected Osijek and Darda, took the form of a wooden road on piers and was approximately 7 kilometers long and 6 meters wide. Seen as a great threat to Christian Europe the bridge was attacked several times, being destroyed in 1664, when it was set on fire on the orders of Croatian feudal Lord Nicholas VII of Zrin. The bridge was rebuilt during the rule of Suleiman II. Finally, it was burned down by the Habsburg armies in 1686. First layout in late 17th century development of the military settlement at Tivirta started in 1687 when the Habsburg armies drove the Ottomans out of the city during the Great Turkish War. The chief commander of the Imperial Army, Louis William, Margrave of Baden-Baden, saw Osijek as a location of exceptional strategic importance in the war against the Ottomans. He urged the repair of the city walls, and proposed construction of a new fort according to Vauban's principles of military engineering. The town magistrate was established in 1690, while the plans for the new fort were still being drawn up, and one of its documents from August of the same year described the condition of the settlement as ruinous. Two months later, on 29th of October, the Ottoman army suddenly attacked. The attack was repulsed only thanks to a well-organized defense, and the Turks withdrew on 6th of November, after a brief siege. The event was a clear lesson that the construction of the fort must not be delayed any further. The first phase of Tivirda's conversion into a Baroque fortress was based on the plan devised by the engineer Matthias von Kaiserfeld from 1691. Second layout in 18th century the single nave street, Michael's Church with two towers was built by the Jesuits on the foundations of the Qasim Pasha's Mosque. 
Former General Command is featured on 200 Kuna Banknote. The original plan for Tivirta was drafted because of the need to reinforce the town walls, but did not include provisions to redesign the interior and envisaged largely uncontrolled development. New plans for a fort on the right bank of the River Drava were drawn up by Maximilian Gasso de Hennef. Gasso took over planning of the fort when construction was already underway. Starting in August 1712, Austrian engineers, supervised by the fort's commander, General Johann Stefan von Beckers, built barracks, staff headquarters. Churches and monasteries, surrounded by system of moats, bastions and gun positions, respecting Gasso's design. The design followed the model of lowland Dutch military fortifications of the period. By 1715, all five planned bastions and two gates were complete. An additional, western, gate leading to the upper town was added in 1716. The construction of the outwork on the opposite bank of the river Drava, designed to offer protection from the north and to serve as a bridgehead, was completed by 1721. The final, fourth gate, leading to the lower town, was not added until 1783. Construction of the inner town was completed by 1733, and in 1735 three additional northern bastions were completed, along with a post office, the fort's construction office and a hospital. The completed fort had eight bastions, two armories, two major depots, garrison headquarters, military court, construction office, garrison physician, guardhouse, officer apartments, military hospital and seven barracks. Based on the ring model, the fortifications took up an area of 80 hectares, making Tivir the largest fortress on the border with the Ottoman Empire. Former city guard, built in 1729, now hosts the archaeological museum. Gasso's plan left space for churches to be built where mosques had once stood. Initially, converted mosques were used as churches, but Franciscans started to build a Baroque church in 1709 and it was consecrated in 1732. A Franciscan monastery was built between 1699 and 1705, with a new wing being added between 1731 and 1733, which subsequently became a new monastery in 1761. In 1725, the Jesuits commenced construction of the parish church of St. Michael, following the construction of their own monastery. This church was in use after 1734, despite being incomplete. A Holy Trinity column was erected in the fort's main square in 1730 as a plague monument featuring volutes with pedestals on which four protectors against the plague are placed. Four additional pedestals were added to the monument in 1784, each featuring a statue of a saint. Tivirta had street lighting as early as 1717. The first system to supply public water in Croatia was opened in Tivirta in 1751. In the mid-18th century there were reportedly more than 35 inns in Tivirta, estimated to an account for one in three of the fort's buildings. Crown Prince Joseph stayed in one of the inns when visiting Osijek. In 1786, as Joseph II, he decreed the merger of the upper town, lower town and Tivirta into one single town council. The water gate is the only surviving gate out of four that were originally built. Plan of Tivirta from 1861 As early as the second half of the 18th century there was little or no new constructions taking place in Tivirta, and even maintenance of the fort became a burden. In 1809 Osijek was granted free royal town status. Osijek's council was accommodated in a building at the southeastern corner of Tivirta's main square. Tivirta's military importance decreased after the Berlin Congress of 1878 as a result of increasing political and military stability in the region. Two northwestern bastions were demolished in the 1870s, making way for Ambrose's Park. Construction of the Royal Grammar School started in 1881, and the Royal General Secondary School was completed in 1890. Episcopal Seminary was also built in the southwestern corner of the main square in 1898. These were the only buildings erected within Tivirta walls in the last three decades of the 19th century. As OCA grew as a city, the fort's presence hindered the potential for urban development. The demolition of most of the fort walls happened between 1923 and 1926, with the construction of an electric tramway. The last gunpowder magazine, located behind the Church of Street. Michael, was demolished in 1958. While most of the fortifications have been demolished, the center of Tivirta remains intact. The Yugoslav People's Army maintained a garrison and a military hospital in Tivirta, but in the 1980s these buildings were gradually being abandoned, and adapted into ateliers for local painters and sculptors. From February to June 1986, 
The fortress town was used as a filming location for the epic American miniseries War and Remembrance. It played the role of the almost identical town of Theresienstadt in Czechoslovakia, which had been converted to a concentration camp known as the Paradise Ghetto, to which prominent Jews were sent by the Nazis. Stars Jane Seymour, John Gilgood and Robert Stevens filmed throughout the town. The fort sustained considerable damage during the Croatian War of Independence, which lasted from 1991 until 1995. The war brought structural damage from collapsing roofs, walls and floors. These damages threaten plaster, sculpture and murals that lack proper protection and are subject to continuing decay. Map of present-day Tivirta after the fortress's military importance decreased at the end of the 19th century, Tivirta became a center of administrative, educational, cultural, and scholarly life in Osijek and the entire region. The first school in Osijek was organized at Tivirta. The first scholarly curriculum was introduced in 1707, to be later expanded and renewed, and the first printing press started working in 1735. The significance of educational institutions of Tivirta are best underlined by the fact that Croatian Nobel Prize laureates, Levoslav Ruzicka and Vladimir Prelog, along with Serbian scientist Milutin Milankovic, were all alumni of the Tivirta schools. The Faculty of Agriculture of the Josip Juraj Strasmeyer University of Osijek has occupied the former general headquarters since 1995 after its previous site was destroyed in the Croatian War of Independence. The Faculty of Food Technology has been relocated to a building that served as the first military hospital in Osijek, from the mid-17th century until the beginning of the 1990s. Other present-day educational institutions in Tivirta include the second and the third gymnasium, Franjo Kuak Music School, Jesuit Classical Gymnasium, and the Secondary School of Economics. According to the 2001 census, within the Tivirta City District, there are 10,277 inhabitants living in 3,310 households. The Fort Interior is now a center of Osijek's nightlife. There are numerous bars and restaurants in Tivirta. The Fort hosts the Museum of Slavonia, the largest general-type museum in Croatia, located in Tivirta since 1946. The former Town Museum and Archives building today houses the State Directorate for Monument Protection, a department of the Croatian Ministry of Culture. The patron saint of the Tivirta is St. Michael, and his feast day of September 29th is celebrated as the day of the Tivirta city district. I have seen many European towns, but have never found an identical development whereby an existing urban nucleus was turned into a fortification, or a similar town planning solution. I've Mazurin, an expert on Tivirta the World Monuments Fund has described Tivirta as a unique example of an 18th century Baroque military, administrative, and commercial urban center. Tivirta is on Croatia's tentative list for consideration as nominee for the World Heritage Site. During the 1991-95 conflict in Croatia, 90% of the buildings in Tivirta were damaged to some extent, and the fort was featured on the 1996 World Monuments Watch list of most endangered sites. It has not appeared on the list, published every two years, since. The building of the general headquarters, dating from 1726, and the ground plan of the fortress are depicted on the reverse of the Croatian 200 Kuna banknote, issued in 1993 and 2002. The Agency for Restoration of Osijek Tivirta was established in 1999. Its stated goals are protection, restoration and revitalization of Tivirta. The restoration process aims to preserve architectural, historical and aesthetic qualities of Tivirta in full accordance with the restoration principles set by the International Council on Monuments and Sites, while maintaining its multifunctional character. International cooperation is also envisioned, in particular with the Council of Europe. The agency is jointly funded by the government of Croatia, Osijek Baranja County and the city of Osijek. Thanks for watching.